big old solid Caucasian OGC coming at you with the roll call. Roll call, yeah. What's up, y'all? Story time, story time, story time. <laughs> Bro, so many people say big sin. We don't understand how all the stuff you do in prison. And I told people, like, in prison, the most important thing for me when it comes to going to war and making that money on the black tar, I said, I used to do it literally with a peanut butter sandwich. They say, big sin. First of all, you can't hurt somebody with a peanut butter sandwich. You can't run drugs with a peanut butter sandwich. And I said, bro, straight up. Check this out. So basically, let me show you this. This right here is Italian. Hard as a rock. This is a uh, Italian bread. I'd have this smuggled in. I was connected to the mob. Michael Franchisi is a chomo. Now, let me show you this. Also, I would always have Peter Pan uh, peanut butter in this really hard bread. You're like, this is How does that help you smuggle drugs? Well, every time I would smuggle that black tar into prison, there would be six ounces of black tar in this jar of peanut butter. So, man, you stand there on the block chopping it up, bro. I'm telling my dude, like, yo, you want to use, uh, use the mic? You know what I'm saying? The cell phone. Airlifted. And she was sitting there in prison, and they'd be like, yo, man, I'm about to lock it down. I'm like, yo, I'm like, Peter Pablo. I'm like, we're good, Sid. And I'll be like, yo, Peter Pan. And the block, people on the block knew what time was. They'd be saying, like, Peter Pan. The CEO was like, lock it down. People like, Peter Pan. And, and the best, the reason this is so good, you can toss it to somebody like this. And they'd be like, whoa, Sid, what is that? I'm like, oh, man, my, my dude has a diet di to be this. He needs some peanut butter. I'm like, you good, Sid? Or you can even roll it like that. And you just roll it to people. And the guards didn't know there was six ounces of that black tar in there. Now, as for the weapons, this big old hard lump of bread right here, bro. I have split so many wigs with this, bro. Watch this. That actually hurts a little bit. So imagine this, bro. I never forget. I was standing on the rec yard one time, and I was on my way out to the rec yard like big sin. Like, what you carrying a piece of bread for like that, bro? Like, do you got any weapons in there? I'm like, no. And people used to call me the, the uh, minister in prison. And uh, especially like the black guards and stuff like that. Where you going, see? I'd be like, yo, I'm going to break bread. And they'd be like, oh, that's cool. God bless you. I'm like, God bless you too, man. And so when I would say, and people would shake in their boots. They'd be shaking in the slippers like that Chomo Joe from the after prison show. I'm going to be exposing a lot of people. But check this out. So whenever I, someone heard me say, he, Big C is going to break bread, they knew straight up that someone had been greenlit. Well, it kind of looks like something else. Look at that. That's crazy. Someone about to get hit. Bro, I, I have six bodies. That I beat somebody to death with like a uh, piece of bread. Samson in the Bible, who was a solid Caucasian, straight up. One of my favorite so Caucasian, solid Caucasians is Samson from the Bible. I'm a lot like him, bro. He killed a thousand dudes with the jawbone of a donkey. And I straight up has smashed so many chomos with a loaf of Italian bread. Now, so when I would say to people, yo, I'm baked bread, they knew that someone was about to go. Just like that, but it was sad. But people were like, well, big C, wouldn't the guards eventually... And see you beating somebody with a loaf of bread. What they say like Big Sid is you're killing someone with bread. Um, no, I'm going to tell you why. I would go up to the CEOs and be like, what's good, CEO? I'm like, um, I, I need to go over to that other block. You know what I'm saying? He's like, see, Big Sid, you don't, you don't stay in that. You know, it's chain gang, you know, all that. Right, da, 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 da. And I'll be like, yeah, I understand that. And this is what I would do. Y'all going gonna, gonna to love this. And I was sitting up here. I'd be like, look, CEO, here's the thing. I made you a sandwich. Like, yo, be said, we can't take food from an inmate. And I'd be like, well, this one has extra lettuce on it. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, Big C, God bless you. I'm like, no problem. And they would take that money right there. Look at all that, boy. That's at least $62. It's crazy. That's pocket change for me. And then they would give me the bread back, and I would just tuck it under my arm like this and act like I was praying and just walk down past the lieutenant and go handle business. I mean, I'd beat the brakes off some dudes with this, bro. Beat the brakes off of dudes with this. But that's how you can bribe people um, and smuggle stuff into prison. It's crazy. Now, a lot of people talk, oops, <laughs> spilled some crumbs. <laughs> crumbs. They came in this massive bread bag. And so people talk about, oh, I'm dropping crumbs everywhere, bro. Mmm. Um, that's good. A lock in a sock is not effective. I was the first dude in prison to catch bodies with a loaf, a loaf in a bag, bro. And you be standing there like this on the rec yard like this. I should be leaning on looking at you. Look, if I look at you straight on, it's not a problem. But if you ever see big OG Sid just looking at you out the side of his eyes like this, you know you're about to get buried, bro. And you just go up and bow, 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 bow. And people are like, oh, I mean, Pete's like this, the lieutenant shooting the pepper spray, all kinds of stuff. 
But the best part about that is, before the lieutenants could come, you would do this. You would throw down the bloody bag and just like throw it next to like um, <laughs> to like a, a Hispanic or a black dude's cell and be like, yo, they're fighting. And you would have a piece of bread with no blood on it and you would just be like going to break bread. Also, if you're about to hand you some business, I would use the bag to do stuff like this. And it doesn't leave fingerprints, right? It's crazy. Don't ever tell me, like, oh, I had some soups in prison. I had blades in prison. Bro, if you're a real man, a loaf of bread and some peanut butter, and you can dominate the California prison system like I did. That's the real talk, dude. Peace out.